Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're having a look at the gorgeous, the stunning Ubuntu 22.04 Long Term Support Edition. My question to everybody who watches this, who is an ordinary Windows 10 user and lives their life in a browser, why? Why on earth don't you get rid of Windows, install Ubuntu 2204, install the browser of your choice, never look back, never have to bother with Windows again. With Windows current state of affairs and how much power it saps out of your PC, it makes sense to use an operating system like Ubuntu. It will free your computer's resources up. It will make you feel like you've got a new computer. So as you can see, I'm using an e-waste Core 2 Duo with 4 gigabytes of RAM. That's all we've got. <clears throat> Nothing more. And Microsoft will tell you that this computer deserves to go to the tip. And as you can see, it's running faster than Daily Thompson on steroids. <laughs> so if you live your life in a web browser, uh, all you've got to do is go to the Ubuntu website, download Ubuntu 22.04. It's a slightly different desktop interface to what Windows users are familiar with. But nevertheless, it's exactly the same. There's an icon, you point click and something happens. So let's go check out Ubuntu. And there we go. So I guess really we should have gone to the Ubuntu desk, desktop. Um, but nevertheless, uh, if we go to products and we go to Ubuntu desktop, there we go. Ubuntu for desktops, 22.04 long term support. That's what I'm currently running on this e-waste PC and it's absolutely stunning. It's so fast and so quick. Why? Because the system isn't dragged down by all the background processes that Windows naturally comes bloated with. Things such as key loggers, telemetry, spyware, screenshotters and the list goes on and on and on. As you know, in August, maybe August of this year, um, update 22H4 for Windows is going to be released. And that's going to make a whole butt ton of PCs, millions of PCs, unusable with Windows 11 overnight. Because Windows is going to start and dictate to you, the user, what hardware you've got to have inside your PC. And if it doesn't meet Microsoft's requirements, you can't use it. So why wait until August? Make the jump now. Honestly, people, this is absolutely stunning. It really is. It runs beautifully. It's as stable as the day is long. It will outlive your hardware. And as I say, if you live your life in a web browser, which if you're an ordinary Windows user, you probably do then this is the perfect, perfect opportunity for you to make the jump from Windows onto Ubuntu. Now, a little bit later on, it is rumoured that for Windows 12, Microsoft are looking at a subscription model. So as if Microsoft telling you your computer is not good enough. This computer is from 2008. Uh, it's e-waste. Uh, Microsoft said I should take it to the tip and dump it. Microsoft may also force a subscription model where you have to pay a monthly fee in order to use Microsoft Windows. My question to you, the users out there, is why are you going to wait why would you wait when you have an operating system that is this stunning, this beautiful and this usable in 2024 on an old 2008 PC? Why would you do that? 
I have absolutely no idea why you would choose to do that. <clears throat> Surely it makes utter sense to get your arses over onto the gorgeous, the stunning Ubuntu. My 10 cents worth. If any of you have got any questions or need any help, then please post underneath the video. Um, I can't tell you enough how good the base Ubuntu 2204 desktop is. Um, you need to discover that for yourself. If any of you have got any questions or any issues out of the box, now, the one thing that Ubuntu does do out of the box is use the Wayland display. Now, if, like me, you're a gamer and you want to play whatever games you can run on your computer. Me, I'm a, a farming nut. If you run the Wayland um, desktop display, it will not display your games properly. They will be very dark. They may be even broken slightly or fragmented. And it's a very simple and easy fix. All you need to do is switch to Xorg. If any of you have any issues with doing that or don't know how to do it, don't know what to do, uh, again, if you just post underneath this video, then, of course, I will help you out. Of course, this is my e-waste PC, not my main daily driver. And as you all know, my main daily driver um, indeed has MX Linux on it. <coughs> and it's absolutely stunning this ubuntu again absolutely stunning everything you could want in a pc super fast super secure massively reduced threat of virus attack or malware attack no you're not immune from it but there's a huge reduction versus something like windows so you're a lot safer if you accidentally click on a link on ubuntu than what you'll ever be on Microsoft Windows. In terms of gaming, as I say, if the game will run, this PC is now at its absolute limits because I'm recording a video and I'm trying to run a game. Mm. So, there we go. Our game running. Not very well, I have to say. So I'm going to quit it because I'm recording a video. When I'm not recording a video... The game runs beautifully. So there you go, everybody. Uh, please post underneath the video your comments, your thoughts on the latest iteration of Ubuntu. Personally, I think it's stunning. I don't want to get into the whole Snaps debate, debate um, because Snaps does have advantages and does have benefits, although it does have also have downsides. So let's try and avoid that one. Apart from that, your Ubuntu desktop. Mm. So for me, it's almost a hybrid between Windows and Mac. Absolutely stunning. And I can't think of any reason on this planet any sane current Windows 10 user would not want to dump Windows and get over onto Ubuntu. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked. Broken Ebes video.